constantly, I'm constantly telling clients and constantly um, getting them to understand that the quality of their question is going to determine the quality of their life, right? And so obviously that's a key component of your work. How do you get industries to get to a better question? Oh my goodness, I, that's, such a, that's such a great question. And part of what I find in my experiences is that we have been question shamed mm. in so many different aspects of our personal development. Um, if we look, for a lot of us, if we look back on our educational experiences early on, we dared to raise our hand mm -hmm. to ask a question. Sometimes that question was met with open arms and other times that question or questions were met with giggles or even worse, we were ignored. And yeah. then we advanced into the work environments and we may have tried again to ask and pose some questions. Mm -hmm. And if the same thing happened, you, you quickly get the sense, um, no, no questions here. Just keep your head down and do, right. do the work. Right. But questions are inputs into a system. Mm -hmm. and the more diverse the inputs, the more innovative the output. So if you keep asking the same old sets of questions, e either as an individual or because of who you choose to have on your team, you're going to keep getting the same output. So yeah. a couple of things. It's really important to cultivate an environment where people are comfortable with asking questions. Mm -hmm. What not to do is to say to your team or to your teammates, hey, guys, I welcome your questions. You will probably be met with arms crossed or hands on the hips or uh -huh. dare in the headlights because of question shaming. Um, you have to model that. You have to model your own self-inquiry and your own curiosity. Yeah. And that then gives people the nod to it's, it's, it's cool to ask questions.